Saudi Arabia is calling it an unprecedented attack. Suicide bombers have targeted three cities in the kingdom. Four people were killed in Medina, just outside one of Islam's holiest sites. The explosions follow bombings in Baghdad and Istanbul. Imran Khan reports. Saudi Arabia comes to terms with the latest attacks in the kingdom following the bloodiest holy month of Ramadan in recent years. So far, there's been no claim of responsibility, but in the past, ISIL have said anybody that doesn't subscribe to their worldview is a target. By attacking mosques, they are in fact uh, going against presumably their message that they would like to restore the, the, uh, the Islamic State, but all of their actions are proving that they are anti-Muslim first and foremost. The first big attack of the past month was in Istanbul. Three suicide bombers attacked Ataturk airport, killing and injuring dozens of airline passengers. Turkish government leaders blamed attackers from Russia, Uzbekistan and Kyrgyzstan. And last Saturday night, the biggest attack since 2003 in Iraq struck the center of Baghdad, again killing at least 200 Iraqis and injuring many more. The cleanup operation and recovery of the bodies continues. Just 48 hours after that attack, multiple suicide bombers hit targets in Saudi Arabia, in the mainly Shia district of Katif, and in the courtyard of one of Islam's holiest sites in Medina. It's the final resting place of the Prophet Muhammad and a provocation on the eve of the Eid holiday. Saudi Arabia is the custodian of Islam's two holiest sites. The fact that the bombers were able to strike at the heart of the kingdom at such an important time appears to be a direct challenge. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera. Let's cross over to Jeddah, speak to Khaled Batarfi. He's a senior columnist with the Saudi Gazette. So what is the sense in Saudi Arabia after these three attacks ha took place, and specifically uh, the one in Medina? Uh, the one in Medina really was uh, shocking to us. I mean, we were used to other attacks on mosques uh, and uh, other places, but uh, to attack uh, Al-Haram al-Sharif, uh, where the Prophet uh, is buried, uh, and in Ramadan and between uh, Adhan and Iqam of Iftar, that was really uh, uh, outrageous and, and people are really angry. The hashtags that uh, came out and, and at, uh, attracted millions uh, of uh, tweets and retweets uh, showed how much people were disgusted with this and uh, it's just trying to find uh, a connection between uh, uh, being a Muslim organization or being Muslim individuals and doing the, such a terrible uh, uh, attack and a terrible crime. And we know in that the Saudi Arabian Crown Prince has put out a statement, I suppose, trying to reassure his citizens. Is that working? Yeah, of course. We are not worried about ourselves, really. I mean, those attacks is not uh, attacking, yani, it's not a danger to the public. It's just. Uh, it hurts our feelings and it hurts our uh, intelligence. It hurts our uh, uh, feeling of sense and sensibility. How could they do that in such a place? That was the terrible things. It wasn't about uh, uh, the, the, uh, how many lives we lost uh, or how many uh, uh, buildings were destroyed. But these it attacks was are the happening in Saudi timing. Arabia and it's quite significant that you have three attacks that took place in one day in the kingdom. So how is this going to change uh, the security situation across the country? Well, we are used to this. If you remember since 1994 when uh, uh, Hezbollah attacked uh, uh, Al Khubar uh, uh, and then uh, Riyadh uh, and then there was Al-Qaeda attacks in, in the 90s and in the 2000s uh, and after the uh, September event. Uh, so uh, we are kind of used to this. Uh, it's just uh, what change is how low these people could go. Uh, attacking mosques, uh, place warships, attacking people who are going to the mosque worship, worshiping God, the same God they, they pretend to be. Uh, worshipping and that was uh, the, the new thing about it before it was attacking uh, uh, compounds uh, where uh, foreigners are living or attacking security uh, so just very briefly uh, back to my question this is not going to change the way Saudi Arabia uh, is Saudi Arabia going to enhance security across the country yes or no 
We can, uh, yes, yes, but not around mosque because this is impossible. Okay. We cannot uh, protect every mosque. There is tens of thousands of, of mosques uh, in the kingdom. And how can you attack, uh, yani protect each one of, of them? Uh, Khaled Batarfi, thank times you very day. much for joining us on the Al Jazeera News Hour. Now, Turkey's opened its borders.